Hello friends, Namaste. So today we are going to learn about projections of solids. So what is the meaning of solids? Solids are the three dimensional object which is having length, width and also the breadth. Okay. So there are two types of classifications are there in the solids. There are two types of classifications are there. The first classification is called as polyhedra and the second classification is called as solids of revolutions so what is the meaning of polyhedra means so this is a solid which is bounded by different planes or faces and all the faces are going to connect with the help of what straight lines so that we are going to call as what polyhedra so in polyhedra we have two types that one is called as prism first one is called as prism and the second one is called as pyramids so what is the meaning of prism and the pyramid means see we are you are having many objects are there over here okay so which is a prism so this one is a prism this one is a prism and this one is a pyramid so how we are going to call it as a prism and the pyramid what is the difference between the prism and the pyramid means see prism is having a bottom face as well as top face this bottom face and top face is been connected with the uh, vertical rectangular faces okay so that is what we are going to call as prism so what kind of prism is this see what is the bottom and what is the tail so this is a hexagon okay you can see this one is a hexagon the bottom face is also hexagon and the top face is also a hexagon hence the name is called as what hexagonal prism and this bottom bottom face and top face is been connected with the help of uh, vertical rectangular faces have you got this one so hence it is called as what prism so what kind of prism is this this is a hexagonal prism so what about this see here you can see the pentagon right so bottom face is also a pentagon and the top face is also a pentagon and this one is called as what pentagonal prism okay now as i talking about the pyramid so see this is a pyramid so here the bottom is having a face so what kind of face we have it is a square and the top we have a point so it is a called as apex see this bottom face and the top face is connected with the help of slant triangular faces okay so this we are going to call as what pyramid what kind of pyramid since the base is square so hence it is called as what square prism sorry square pyramid have you got this so these are the this is a prism prism and this one is a pyramid i will let you know once again so prism is having a bottom face well as well as top face whereas the pyramid is having a bottom face and we are going to have a apex and in the case of prism we will be having a, a vertical triangular faces whereas in the case of pyramids we will be having a slant triangular faces so this is about the polyhedra i had told another classification what is that uh, solids of revolution what is the meaning of this the solids have been developed due to the revolution of a plane or a line about a fixed axis so that we are going to call as what solid of revolution okay so now so this is a bottle so how it how it looks like it looks like a cylinder right it looks like a cylinder how we are going to construct a cylinder so if we have a line if i rotate this line in a circular manner about a fixed axis then i am going to generate what cylinder so in the case of what is this this is a cone so how i am going to generate the cone so with the help of line i am going to fix one end of the line and the another end of the line i am going to move in a circular path so this this is how we are going to generate the cone so these two are called as what solids of revolution i hope you got this one so the classification is uh, the first classification is a polyhedra and the second classification is the solids of revolution have you got this one in the next class onwards what we are going to see we are going to see the various problems related to the solids uh, projections of solids okay thank you
నమస్తే